Hi, this video is here to help you with comparing durations of time. Before we begin, let's remind ourselves about the inequality symbols that will be helpful when comparing durations of time. This symbol means less than. This symbol means greater than. This symbol means equal to. If we wanted to compare these two durations, we would need to work out the length of each duration first. If you'd like to find out more about finding durations of time, you can check out our video on the Twinkle website. The duration of the first activity is 2 hours and 30 minutes. And for the second activity, the duration is 3 hours. Therefore, the duration of the first activity is less than the second activity. I would like you to compare these two durations by using the correct inequality symbol. Pause here and have a go, and then press play again when you're ready to continue. Have you finished? Well done, here's the answer. The duration of the first activity is greater than the second activity. Here we have a timetable that shows train times in England. We are going to work out the duration of the train journey to Newcastle. We can use a number line to help calculate the duration of the journey. We start at 9.25am and can jump 35 minutes to get to 10am. We can then jump two more hours to 12pm. Finally, we can jump 30 minutes to get to 12.30pm. The duration of the train journey to Newcastle is three hours and five minutes. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to work out the durations of the train journeys to Sheffield and Manchester. Pause the video here to have a go and then press play when you're ready to continue. Have you finished? Perfect, here are the answers. The duration of the train journey to Manchester is 4 hours and 30 minutes. The duration of the train journey to Sheffield is 4 hours and 50 minutes. Now that we know the durations of the train journeys, we can compare them. We can see that the duration of the train journey to Newcastle is the shortest, followed by Manchester, and finally, Sheffield is the longest train journey. Now, I think you're ready for a challenge. Let's take a look. Two friends are discussing their journey to rugby practice. Which child had the shortest journey to rugby practice? Ruby says, I left home at 9.35am and arrived at rugby practice at 10.15am. Kevin says, I left home at 9.15am and arrived at rugby practice at 10.05am. Pause the video here and have a go at the question. Have you finished? Excellent, here are the answers. Ruby's journey is 40 minutes long. Kevin's journey is 50 minutes long. Therefore, Ruby's journey is the shortest. I hope this helped you understand comparing durations of time. If you're looking for more maths help, then we've got lots more of these videos on the Twinkle website, so go and check them out.